día de hoy con Ricardo Chávez en el proceso de certificación de concreto lanzado aquí desde Sebastopol, California. Mucho, mucho gusto, Ricardo, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? Bueno, queríamos realizarte unas preguntas acerca de cómo han sido tus expectativas el día de hoy en las pruebas de concreto lanzado que se ha realizado el día en la sesión de hoy. Las expectativas son muy buenas, los procedimientos también. Uh, es muy importante todo el tiempo a aprender y, y, y seguir este, a los programas porque van cambiando los códigos. Este, y el que más vayamos aprendiendo es mucho mejor para, uh, para mejor producción. ¿Y qué tan importante crees o bueno, cuáles son tus consideraciones acerca de la certificación de concreto lanzada en tus trabajos? O tiene que, bueno, mi expectativa es de que es muy importante porque no nada más es llegar y aventar el cemento, o sea, tienes que tener práctica y, y teoría y experiencia más que nada. Muy bien, entonces te agradecemos por tu tiempo y de repente nos quieres invitar algunos saludos a Perú o a Latinoamérica que nos están siguiendo. Y claro que sí, bien. muchos saludos a todas las personas de Latinoamérica y hay que seguir trabajando, echándole ganas y, y produciendo lo más importante. Saludos a todos. Gracias. ¿Qué tal? Nos encontramos el día de hoy con Arlufo Hernández eh, Vamos a realizarle una entrevista sobre lo que ha sido el proceso de certificación el día de hoy Buenos días, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, ¿cómo estás? Mucho gusto, gracias por tu tiempo eh, Bueno, para empezar queríamos realizarte eh, una pregunta sobre cuáles han sido tus expectativas de la sesión de concreto lanzado que se ha realizado el día de hoy No, pues todo, todo muy bien, muy a, un grupo muy a, acoplado todos y todo, todo muy bien Qué bueno. ¿Y qué relevancia crees que se le da hoy día al proceso de certificación de concreto lanzado? ¿Qué tanto influye en tu trabajo? Ah, pues en muchísimo. Si, si no estás certificado no puedes hacer tu trabajo. Yo, yo, yo creo que todos estuvieron bien. Eso. ¿Y tú consideras que es importante personalmente? ¿En qué te ayuda particularmente? No, pues es, es mi trabajo. Yo, tengo que estar certificado para, para poder trabajar. Si no, pues, ¿cómo lo hacemos? Muy bien, muchas gracias. ¿De repente nos quieres enviar unos saludos a Perú o Latinoamérica? Ya, yeah, un saludo a Perú, a toda la gente de Perú. Gracias. So, good morning to everyone. We are now in the shop press certification in Sebastopol, California. Now we are with Jamie Curtis, and so we are going to have a little interview with him. Hi, Jamie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up, guys? Peru, Latin America. We love California and Texas. Okay, thank you for your time. So we are we now are going to ask you uh, how are your expectations about the shotgun certification and the session that we have today? Um, well, it's my third time to get certified, so uh, it's always good to talk shop with everybody here. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's getting down to real business. I mean. Uh, I'm still learning every time I come. These guys put on a really educational session, so I basically expect to learn uh, from from the ACI, ASA, and everybody here, um, as well as you know, have fun and, and the most important is get get recertified and and uh, continue on working. Okay, all right. And um, how about the ASA certification? How is the influence in your work or maybe in your job? Um, Do you think it's important? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a really dangerous job that we do, and the, the impact of what we do has real, uh, you know, impact on the job itself. So it's very important, you know, you don't want these guys going out uh, untrained, uh, not being safe, not understanding how important the work is, because it's easy to go in, but once it's there, Uh, you know, it's holding up these buildings and, and the projects you're doing, so it's very important. Yeah, you're right. Uh, finally, can you send some readings uh, to Peru or the people from Latin America? Yeah, of course. I lived in Venezuela, so I love Latin America. And uh, you guys need to get on the Shock Creek train. I'm sure you do it, but I know you guys have a lot of concrete houses and structures down there, so um, this is a great, easy way to do it. And, and hopefully, uh, you're learning from this session and can hold your own. So, thanks guys. Okay, thank you. So, good morning to everyone. We are now with John Cordes in Sebastopol, California, because we have today the shot press certification. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, um, so we are going now to make a little interview about, we want to know um, your expectations about the session that we have today. Sure, well, 
I expect to pass it. I sure hope I do. It means so much to each and every person out here. It's a four-year certification process, so if you lose out on this one, you can retake the test, but it's, uh, you know, it takes a lot of resources and time and money to do this thing. Okay, so um, how important do you think that is the shot pre certification in your job? Uh, the shot pre certification is really important. Um, it's, a, it's a very specialized construction technique that needs to be done correctly. Uh, if it's not done correctly, uh, it can be done very, very horribly. So uh, the people that you're seeing here care enough to, to get the 500 hours of prerequisite nozzle time uh, before coming here to take the test. Okay, thank you. How many tests did you have today? How many tests did you have today? Uh, I believe there's close to 50 people here today. Okay. This is a very big session. And you test um, by two methods? Two methods. So it's all called chakri. But there's wet mix shotcrete and dry mix shotcrete. Uh, wet mix comes in a ready mix truck with a big barrel uh, mm -hmm. that you see coming down the street. And dry mix uh, can do equally good as work, good of work, uh, but it's in bags typically, and you add water to the nozzle. That's the difference. Well, uh, how old then do you think? Um, what of them is the most difficult for you? Well, today I only did the dry mix, or I'm sorry, the wet mix certification. Uh, but proportionally, we learned yesterday in our classroom that dry mix is about 8% of all shot creep, whereas wet mix then is 92%. So you, that's why you can see all the wet mix uh, panels here more, more so than the dry. Okay, thank you. And finally, can you send some greetings to the people from Peru or Latin America that is following us? Yeah, hi Peru from uh, California here. We're actually Texan, so this is a vacation for us too, if you can believe that. But okay. I hope everybody's doing well down there. Okay, thank you.